Hello and welcome back to the Burdu channel. In this video, we will discuss how to add products and product variations to your website. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the Burdu channel to get hundreds of other tutorial videos. Click the like button below and also turn on the notification bell. First, from your website dashboard on Burdu, go to Products and click Add Product in the top right corner. All right, this is the layout where we will add products to our website. In the Name section, you can write the title of the product you want to add. For example, I will fill it out like this. Next, for the Pictures section, you can upload your product photos or designs. You can also add more than one photo here. You can still change the order of the images by dragging them like this. Next, we need to add the product description in this text editor section. Write the product description as detailed and complete as possible so that customers fully understand the product you are offering. Here, you can customize the text, such as block types, adding bullet points, changing the color, background color, and more. So, feel free to be as creative as possible to match your website's needs and theme. Now, let's move to the settings on this right sidebar. First, there is the Visibility section. Then, there are the options Hidden and Only Accessible via Link. If you check the Hidden option, it means this product will be hidden from the public accessing your website. Next to it, there's the Auto Publish option. This means you can automatically publish this product by scheduling its publication time. Starting from the date and time, so if you want to launch a new product at a specific time, you can use this feature. For now, I will uncheck this option. Then, there is the Only Accessible via Link option. By checking this option, it means the product you are creating can only be viewed by people with a specific link you provide. Next, we will discuss the Organization section. Here, there is Product Specification. This function is to display detailed product information so customers can easily find other products in our store with the same specifications. But we will discuss this in another video. Moving on, you can categorize this product into specific categories. If the category doesn't exist yet, you can add a new category and include it. For the product type, we choose Physical Product because our product is a t-shirt. Next, let's set the price. Enter your product price here. You can also enter a crossed out price to attract potential customers with a more appealing price because it is cheaper than the original price. Moving on to the payment method section, you can choose which payment methods your customers can use to purchase your product. Here, there are several options that you can check to activate, but if you want to activate all of them, just leave the checklist empty. Now the status is all payment, meaning customers can use all the available payment methods here. If your product is custom-made or handmade, you can also activate the pre-order feature. This way, you can set the processing time and also manage the down payment. You can choose whether it does not require a down payment, is optional, or required. You can also set the down payment amount, whether it is a nominal amount or a percentage of the product price. Next, if your product has a SKU or stock keeping unit, you can enter it here. You can also track stock levels so that with every successful purchase, the system will reduce the actual stock you've entered here. Next, let's move on to shipping. To avoid undercharging for shipping due to weight differences, please enter the weight of the item plus its packaging. The total weight handed over to the courier, including packaging, bubble wrap, etc., is what will be calculated. Okay. Let's save it for now and view the product page. The product title is here and the product images are here, including some color variations of the product we entered earlier. Then, customers can buy or add to the cart with this button and if we scroll down, the product description will appear. Now, this product is currently just a single type or variation, but our product has several variations, for example, black, white, navy, etc. So, we need to add product variation settings in the product page layout. Go to Variations. 
add a new variation. Let's say we add color. In the Options section, enter the available t-shirt color options. For example, black, white, navy, green, etc. You can also add images for each option, so these images will be the thumbnail options. Once done, click Save, go back to the Product Page tab, and refresh the page. The product variations will now appear here, but since our product is a t-shirt, there's something missing. We still need to add another variation, which is size. To do this, go back to the Product Layout Editor, add a new variation, and then create Size. In the Options section, just like before, enter the available t-shirt sizes according to your stock. When done, click Save and refresh the product page. Now our product page is ready. And now customers can choose both the t-shirt color and size. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the Burdue.id channel for more tutorial videos. Don't forget to follow Burdue social media accounts for more interesting content. See you next time.